Hey YouTube, this is RoadDoc326 coming at you with another G.I. Joe The Rise of Cobra review. Uh, this time we'll be looking at my fifth or something, or oh, Wave 5. I'm pretty sure that I've got them all now. <clears throat> I'm very excited. My local Walmart got a shipment of Wave 5s. <clears throat> and I was able to pick up the ones that I don't have today, so really excited about that. Really excited about this figure. He's probably my favorite. And some of you are probably saying, Whoa, Snake Eyes! Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Uh, yeah, Snake Eyes is a good toy, but... It, his legs kill it for me. And he's overrated. And I usually stray away from things that are overrated. So, I think this guy is my favorite. But, enough about me. Let's go on to the box. There you can see artwork. The Desert Viper, uh, the brown name bar, signifying that he's not only a Wave 5, but a desert one. It's back, his file card, if I could raise this, oh, excuse me a second, raise, okay. Uh, another more artwork of his face, and his bio, which reads, Part of the Cobra Trooper Army, Desert Vipers are enhanced with nanomite technology to thrive in desert regions, able to survive extreme heat, sandstorms, and waterless condition. They use smart code rapid projectile nullifiers, nullifier launchers to battle the G.I. Joe team. His preferred weapon, Mars Industries D-57A, Envir Extreme Environment Tactical Rifle. Enough about the box. Let's go on with the figure here. Here he is with his first accessory, which are these goggles. They do come off. I don't want to take them off because, excuse me, because they're kind of hard to get back on. But you definitely can get them on and off, not too badly. Um, uh, one thing to note is the, the level of detail on his face. I'm not that impressed. Um, if you look on the, the artwork on the box, it shows like a little brown eye visor thing. But on here, the, the visor is detailed in there, but it's not painted. It's just black. And I think they could have just put a nice little strip of brown there to really top off what is already a great figure. But can't win them all. Uh, this little neck scarf thing does come off. You remove his head and then just take it off. I don't like removing the heads of these guys, so I'm not going to show you. Other things to note is the level of detail. It's kind of hard to see. I wish I had a lamp, but it broke, so I'm trying to do this, angle it correctly with the light. But if you can see on his, like his, his, his gauntlets and his elbows and his boots and like his shin area, uh, there's a nice level of detail as far as what looks to be sand. And they did a really nice job doing that. He looks really weathered. He looks like he'd actually be in the sand and not really clean cut. Really nice. I really like it. He does have a storage unit for his pistol right here, which you'll see in a minute. Um, he's got a nice cobra sign on both shoulders. Pretty nice. But um, enough about that. Go to the articulation. He does have a 360 on the head. Not with a scarf, though. It's definitely hindered. can only go almost not at all. But can move a little bit. Um, his arm... 360 can go out cut back in elbow 360 swivel at the wrist uh, 360 at the mid torso abdomen area uh, he's got legs that move forward back out then back in double jointed knees uh, 360 swivel at the foot and the foot does move down he also a uh, big thing for me Fits to his stand really well. If I can just remember where the the pegs are in his feet. There. Look at that. That's a clean fit. That is nice. It's, <laughs> it may sound really nerdy or cheesy or whatever, but I always get a nice gratified feeling when my figures fit to their stands really well. Uh, <laughs> but you may not feel that way move on to his accessories and how he holds them. Now, one thing to note, 
that before I show you them, most of his accessories and weapons are repaints of weapons that came with the, the Crimson Neo Viper, which you I have a review of if you want to go check it out. It seems like some of the Wave Fives, most of their weapons are just repaints of a similar figure. The Desert Viper right here, like I said, comes with Crimson Neo Viper weapons, and the City Strike Duke seems to come with a lot of Snake Eyes accessories. Um, now, I'm sure they did this on, Hasbro did this on purpose so they could save a couple bucks and just repaint weapons instead of making new ones, but people, I'm sure, are catching on. Not a problem with me, though. Not that much, at least. So let's start off here with the worst. Um, he comes with one of these butter knife, as I like to call them. Hate these. It's supposed to be knives, but no tip. So I hate them. Fits in both hands, as I will demonstrate. His hands are really tight fits, so most things are hard to get in, but once you get them in, uh, they're staying there for a while. Next, he comes with his little pistol, which also comes with the Crimson Neo Viper, as well as like uh, Baroness and every other Cobra. Holds it well in both hands. This is one of the few figures I have where the right hand isn't as, as loose as the left hand. They're both are equally strong. It does fit in here fairly well. Not gonna come out. It's nice. Next, we got this. I'm pretty sure this is this rifle came with uh, Zartan. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't have a Zartan or seen one up close uh, outside of the store. But this is a nice rifle. Really sturdy plastic, really thick material. It's nice, and he does hold it well. It, it's overall a really cool gun. Nice little bayonet on the front there, which is painted differently. Let's see what we got next. We got this big harpoon-type deal, which came with the Crimson Neo Viper. Pretty nice repainted. I think the Crimson Neo Vipers was all gray or all black or something. I can't really remember. But it does fit in his hands. Just put it in like that for now. You can have it. It's good for posing. Really nice. Next, more Crimson Neo Viper weapons. Dual Tomahawks. These are repainted. I like these repaints better because they've got brown handles, so it makes it look more like wood than the, what I'm pretty sure is just a gray handle that came with the Crimson Neo Viper. But they do fit in his hands well, so plus. All right, now here's my favorite accessory he comes with. Dun, 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 dun. This really stylish scimitar-esque sword. Um, It's probably hard to see on camera, but the detail on the handle is amazing. You got little like swivels and stuff. Uh, the design overall of the sword is really neat, and great thing, fits in his hands very well. Big deal. This is right. All right, just lost his stand. No, not a big deal. And left. All right. And then lastly, he comes with this backpack, which for some reason this peg is... It's really soft and wobbly, and I usually don't see that in pegs, and therefore it's kind of hard to jam into his back. And I hope that's not like a new trend they're setting for backpacks, because that would be lame. It does fit on very well, though. A um, little loose and wiggly, but it's not going to fall off at all. Now you're probably thinking, oh, hey, does that have any storage on it? It, it does. It's got this little slit here on this side, and I wasn't sure really what it was for at first. I, I was hoping it was for this sword, but that clearly does not fit. I mean, I suppose you could set it there and then put it on his back and it would be okay, but the thing that fits best is a tomahawk and it fits best upside down and facing out. That is the best fit. I don't know if that's what it was designed for, but that's the best fit. It actually snaps in and doesn't get loose, but technically you can put any of them in any of his accessories in here and then just press it up against his back. I'm running out of time. I've, I've noticed I'm running out of time on a lot of my figures. There's just so much to say about most of these guys, it's hard to fit into 
roughly 10 minutes. So, uh, again, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to cut a little short. All Everything was reviewed, all his accessories. Don't think that that's the problem, but I, there's just more I could have said. But great figure, my favorite of the Wave 5 so far. Pick it up. I'll see you later.